Alrighty guys, the awaited news is finally here, and dev blog number 21 has finally arrived for Torchlight Infinite. Now, this is probably the biggest dev blog that Torchlight could have probably ever released out of all other dev blogs from all of the closed beta tests up until now. Reason why I say that, here's a little bit of backstory. Right now, throughout the recent closed beta test 3, which is currently have ended, the game has went through a little bit of controversy. Us as players and creators feel like we've been lied to by the devs because they said that there wouldn't be a pay to win, no gotcha, anything of that nature. Pretty much everything you had to do was to grind for. And it kind of made a big spur in the community and a lot of players kind of lost trust in the creators. A lot of players have lost trust in the actual dev team. So it was basically one of those moments of if the game released, which is releasing an open beta as of this month, I think October 12th, by the way, this game was going to be dead on arrival. It has been saved. I have skimmed just a little bit through the dev blog, but I want to kind of dissect it a little bit more with you guys. But let's jump right into it. So first off, starting out with the Trade House booth tabs. So they're refixing the booth tabs, essentially... They're based on the feedback about the booth tabs. Base free booth tab slots are not being increased. The price for each booth tab, which contains 12 booth tab slots, is now reduced. And a purchase season pass will grant you a free booth tab at the beginning. Now, the reason why this is important is because the trade house is very important. Essentially, you can utilize the trade house to trade gear as much loot as you can because this game is very loot oriented and very loot heavy and with all the loot that you come across and you can actually essentially help out other players who need that particular loot and if they just made it just a bit easier and you know a little bit more workable it was better but this actually is a pretty decent change and you can sell what you don't need and purchase what you really need and that really helps out a lot especially when you're going through your different runs and stuff where you can go an entire run and not really get the full stuff you need but when you get that gear piece that somebody else has because of their run you can essentially just buy it off of them or just trade from them. so next thing here's was the biggest piece was the hero trades now in the close beta test 3 you were essentially able to buy a separate hero trait or a legendary trait for your particular hero currently there were Three hero traits, which was one for Gamma, uh, Carino, and I think Photo. And essentially, you can get this powered up, beefed up trait that completely drastically changed the way your character is played. But the problem is, you can't grind for that, you can pay for it. Now, of course, that alongside what I said earlier in the video, that that spurred an entire argument, really between and it made this divide between the community and the actual devs because this essentially is pay to win if you want to enjoy the most top tier of top tier characters you can you essentially can just well out and spend money now there has been different ways of well that's not so pay to win it's not diablo immortal but there are things that when we feel lied to because most of the stuff that we were told we were going to be grinding for. but they've listened to us and they're doing things to change it so with the hero traits they basically essentially said that all future new heroes in other words their first hero traits will be directly unlocked via purchasing the secret pass okay that's fine the devs have to make their money so that's fine but the other hero traits like gamma's frostbitten heart and karino's lethal flash will be available for direct purchase in addition they will increase the avenues available to obtain the hero traits for free and other hero traits can also be unlocked by accumulating in-game resources or accomplishing certain achievements like yuga's second hero trait space time elapsed now granted yes it's a small adjustment but it definitely helps out free to players yes if you want for the people who just have the credit card to fill out if you want to go buy this trait, sure, whatever. But as a free to player, the gap between being able to access that should not be, oh, I might as well just pull out my credit card. It should be like, okay, 
I can grind enough to be able to get it. Or uh, if I wanted to and, you know, I want to be lazy, I just swipe out the credit card and just start buying stuff. I'm all for helping out dev teams. So, you know, to be able to help them keep flourishing the game and so on and so forth, because, you know, devs got to make money. But, you know, do it in smarter ways. And right now, I feel like because Torchlight Infinite dev team is listening to us, they're trying their ways to be able to make both ends meet by, of course, still trying to get paid and still trying to hold to that promise they have made leading up to the third beta test. So now let's talk about the aforementioned season pass. Now, they said that the season pass will can will have the rewards of free rewards like revival tokens, elixirs of oblivion, jagged primo crystals, and insight crystals, which the jagged primo crystals and insight crystals help with summoning specifically the inside crystals that's pretty much you get a free summons throughout the entire season pass and as well as they're including a larger quantity of the consumer boost pay rewards including outfit effects weapon effects body effects back accessories and many other amazing things now here's the best thing possible that they probably could have ever made and it is essentially the advanced auto pickup okay so with that being said, with the advanced auto pickup, my problem that I have with that alone is essentially <laughs> is essentially the fact that this game has a crap ton of loot. And when I mean like a crap ton of loot, a lot of loot. And your pet, if you had the particular pet, they can be able to pick up the rewards or whatever you get, whatever loot that you receive while you're playing. So you don't have to sit there and stop and click whatever and get yourself carpal tunnel in a way. No, this is completely better. Fine. If I drop $20 on this to get some of these cool features and some of these cosmetic stuff, that's perfectly fine. I don't like I said, it's nothing wrong with supporting the dev teams. It's the problem is don't make a promise and then you don't live up to that. promise. If you would, if they would have came in immediately saying, hey, this is going to be this X, Y, and Z. Nobody would be upset. Yes, it would feel like another Diablo Immortal clone, but it wouldn't be as bad as we would have thought. We all feel like we were lied to, but they show here with this dev block that they were listening to players' feedbacks on the whole pay, pay to win spectrum. So they did say that they, with the um, Hero Trade section, the pay season pass will allow you to get a pack of 12 booth tab slots for the trade house. And the first hero trait for the new hero in the current season, such as Thea's Wisdom of the Gods. So granted, there's where that paid part comes in, but dropping 20 bucks on a game, I'm okay with. You know, if we look at Diablo Immortal, just to even have a good time, you had to drop almost $10,000. So 20 bucks, that's nothing. That's chump change. And of course, they also made the adjustment to the auto pick function, which basically the base auto pick will actually be released in the free season pass report and would not have to be unlocked via purchase anymore. That right there is the most W thing Torchlight Infinite could have made. That helped out so much, like literally just by playing the game, it would be auto pickup function. So whatever loot you come across, it will automatically pick up. And you're gonna sit there and have to stop the flow of battle trying to stop decide which one like no i will figure out later just pick up the loot for me and i will go trade it or go break it down into flame dust and that right there is the entire cash shop alone so this is all focused on the cash shop the whole microtransaction so it's basically made a few adjustments it is of course subject to change the game is literally about to release into open beta within three weeks so uh, we will hope to see a couple of extra adjustments as the weeks go on and as they continue listening to us. So they're asking for a win-win situation, but we have to start speaking up some more. So if you guys notice something, I am a Torchlight Infinite creator, so they see my videos and I can actually send my videos to them so they can see what you guys are saying in the comment section below. So definitely let me know in the comment section below what you think about today's dev vlog number 21 and how you guys think it would actually help when the game actually finally releases. Right now, I feel like this is a W in Torchlight's part because they're a dev team that actually listened during a closed beta test. They seen what was going on, 
They heard from the creators. They didn't say, screw you to the creators or screw you to the community. They listened and listened. And by the time it ended, they're like, all right, we heard everybody. This is what we're going to do by the time the game comes out. And right then and there, that just gives Torch and Infinite's dev team a W. And if tev, the dev team, if you guys are watching this, good job. This is actually a great thing because I feel like Torso Infinite to, can dominate and have like a dominating space on both mobile and PC. It's a very good game. It's just the cash shop is what had the problem. Well, I want you guys to let me know in the comment section below. Was this a W dev blog? Like, was this was this a good thing? Granted, like I said, it is going to be subject to change as time goes on. So they will continue making adjustments once they, of course, hear more feedback and see what works because they want to win and, you know, be a flourishing paid company and they want to make sure their community is good. And I'm all down for that. They offer us a great game. They spend the time, the effort and the money into this. We, of course, got to, you know, pay them back in some way, shape or form. But, you know, doing it in a good way. But... It's been your host, KSD TV. I have an entire Torchlight Infinite playlist for you guys. If you want to check it out in the current video, definitely click on the card on the left-hand side. And as always, it's been your host, KSD TV, AK Attic Inc. Signing out. Peace. Make a manifest. I don't sleep. That's so weak. Don't plan to rest. I'm from a hood where you die if you don't pack a vest. No culinary degrees, but whipping crack the best. Chefing. Hard times taught lessons. Praying every night to pull up in park benzes. What's my home is what you call trenches. You wouldn't last a day seeing life through all lenses. It's all tension, no sun, and rain a plenty. Full time job, still can never make a penny. I ain't.